In this video, I show you how to transfer photos from your iPhone to your PC or laptop. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end to know all of the steps required. And let's go and get into this. I'm on my phone and I've got some photos I want to go and move over. And as you can see, I've got quite a few here. So all you want to do is come off of your photos and you want to go to the App Store. And all you want to do is come to the search option and you want to go and download something called Google Drive. So Google Drive is something called cloud storage, which basically means that we can go and upload photos from our phone into the storage and then we can go and access them on our laptop or computer and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So all you want to do is go and download Google Drive. I've already got it and then you want to go and click open. Then once you go and click open, what you need to do is go and sign in with a Google account. It's really simple. You probably already got a Google account. And once you're signed in, then you want to come to the bottom right where it says files. And what I recommend you do is go and click on the plus button and you go and create a new folder. As just then it's a lot easier to go and see all the images we've gone and uploaded. So and click folder just like so, and then you can go and name it. I'm going to name this iPhone tutorial just like so and go and click create. There we go, it's now created it and then I wanna go and click on it and we're now in that folder. Then all you want to do is go and press that plus button once again and here we can go and click upload. Then we can go and browse our photos and videos and you may have to allow Google Drive to access your photo library because of what we're doing. So go and click on it there and it's gonna go and load up our photos. So here we are in my photo library and here are the photos I want to go and transfer. So what you want to do is go and select the ones you like. So I'm gonna go and select sort of four or five but you can upload as many as you like. Then once you've gone and selected the ones you want, then you can go and click upload and here we go. As you can see, it's going to upload them. The time taken to upload these files is going to vary a little bit depending on your internet speed. But if you've got slow internet, you could always use your um, 4G um, depending on how much data you've got. Um, but it doesn't take that long as you can see, especially if they're photos. And something else to notice as well, you can always go and do it overnight uh, so you've got a ton of time where your photos can be uploading. So we've now gone and uploaded the photos to the cloud storage. So now let's go onto our laptop or computer and I'll show you what to do next. So you should now be on your computer or laptop and all you want to do is go and open up any web browser. So I'm personally using Google Chrome, but it doesn't matter and you come to a search engine. Then all you want to do is go and search for Google Drive, just like so. So go and press enter and when you go and click onto the Google Drive, you may need to go and change your Google account or go and log in and ensure you go and log into the same account as you logged in on your phone as those photos you uploaded are on that account. So they need to be exactly the same. Now all you want to do is go and click on the folder you created. So as you can see, I went and created iPhone tutorial. So go and double click here and here are all of the photos. So then all you need to do is come up to this top where you've got iPhone tutorial and click on this drop down option here and as you can see, there is a download button. So go and click download just like so. And it's now preparing the download. And it's actually going and creating a zip file to go and compress the file to be even smaller. So it's going to take quite a lot less time to download due to this. So as you can see, it's just doing this for, off for us. Around 30 seconds to one minute later, it's now gone and downloaded the zip file onto our computer. So then all you want to do is go and drag this zip file onto your desktop. If it isn't in the bottom of your browser, it's going to be in your downloads folder in your file explorer. So go and click on that file explorer there and go to your downloads and that's where it's gonna be. I'm gonna go and drag it onto my desktop just like so. We can go and close off of Google Drive. Then all you want to do is go and double click on the file and here we're gonna have another folder called iPhone Tutorial which you can go and drag out if you'd like or you can go and open it up in here. Go and open up the folder we just went and dragged out of the zip folder which is called iPhone Tutorial in my case. So I'm gonna go and double click on it and here we go. So as you can see, these all files end in H-E-I-C which is a type of format Apple use. Most types of Windows computers won't be able to go and open up these files unless we go and download a certain extension. But in this case, I found a way around this. So all you want to do is go back to a web browser and I recommend just go and Googling something like HEIC to JPEG or PNG and go and click on it just like so. Then all you want to do is come to our folder and we can go and highlight all of these just like so and then go and drag them in just like this. Go and press copy. And as you can see, it's now uploading them. And then we can go and sit back and relax for this to be done. And then I'll show you what to do next. Then once I've all got the screen tick, come to the bottom and go and click download all four JPEGs, just like so. And it's now downloading. And once again, we go and get another zip file. So I'm gonna go and put this onto my desktop, but yours may be in your download folder. Then I'm gonna go and double click on it, just like so. And here we go, we've now got our files. And I'm gonna go and open one up, just like so. And there we go, there are the files we went and got from our computer. And you go and open them all up, just like so. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.